We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth. We could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that the safe planetary boundary for pollutants, including plastics, has been exceeded. Countless contaminants pour forth from progress into organic systems that purred with life. Every novel entity a jagged cog catching the fabric of our planet's great machine. A seamless construct worn down by the pernicious intent of a thousand cuts and tears. Pushing, pulling, bending, curling, stretching, kneading, tumbling, turning... Snap as systems, systems crash, leaving behind a perfect us shaped hole in a structure we never thought to test. This poem was inspired by recent research published in the Environmental Science and Technology, which has found a safe planetary boundary for novel entities has been exceeded. A novel entity is defined as a new substance, material or organism that is human-made and which has not been previously known to the Earth system. Novel entities also include naturally occurring elements, for example heavy metals, that have been increased by anthropogenic activities. All of these novel entities have the potential to affect vital Earth system processes, i.e. the biophysical processes that together determine the self-regulating capacity of our planet, and as such, it is essential that they are carefully monitored and assessed. The production of these novel entities is also rapidly increasing. For example, there has been a 50-fold increase in the production of chemicals since 1950, with this figure expected to triple again by 2050. Similarly, plastic production alone has increased by 79% between 2000 and 2015. Given the dramatic impact these novel entities can have on our planet's health, at what point do we exceed safe, conditions. The planetary boundary for novel entities is one of nine planetary boundaries that define the relatively stable state that Earth has remained within for the past 10,000 years or so since the dawn of civilization. Other boundaries include greenhouse gas emissions, the ozone layer, forests, freshwater and biodiversity. Previously the planetary boundary for novel entities has remained unquantified but in this new study Researchers compiled data behind the rate of chemical production, along with the rate at which fossil fuels, which are used to create chemicals in addition to being used as fuel, are extracted to quantify this boundary. They conclude that humanity has already broken through this planetary boundary, and that the increasing rate of production and releases of novel entities currently exceeds society's ability to conduct safety-related assessments and monitoring. As such, it is essential for us to take urgent action and dramatically reduce the production and releases of novel entities. However, even if their production were to stop completely today, the persistence of many of these novel entities and their associated effects on the Earth system would continue to pose a threat for many years to come. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Countless contaminants pour forth from progress into organic systems that purred with life. Every novel entity a jagged cog catching the fabric of our planet's great machine. A seamless construct worn down by the pernicious intent of a thousand cuts and tears. 
pushing, pulling, bending, curling, stretching, kneading, tumbling, turning, snap. As systems, systems crash, leaving behind a perfect us-shaped hole in a structure we never thought to test. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Value Added by Stephen Sandy. Stephen Sandy was an American poet who was born and raised in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He earned his BA from Yale University and his MA and PhD from Harvard University and was the author of 11 collections of poetry, including Man in the Open Air, published in 1988, Thanksgiving Over the Water, published in 1992, and Weathers Permitting, published in 2005. Sandy's various honours include fellowships from the National Endowment for the Arts, the Vermont Council on the Arts, and the Ingram Merrill Foundation, as well as his own poetry he had translated ancient Greek poets, taught at Harvard University, Brown University, and Bennington College. He was also the poet who featured in the 2007 documentary The Biologist, The Poet, and The Funeral Director. He died in 2016 at the age of 82. Value Added by Stephen Sandy. No one knew what the stones like squatting frogs signified. They were there, fuming in rows, out of the ground, every critic had his explanation or hers. But we had to remember they came to nothing, every one. Those large stones out of the earth served the systems of those who considered them as explaining something about the past it was important for the explainer to explain. And yet no one had any idea truly. There was no basis in fact for any view of them and they remained like their origins or like smiling olmic babies, sweet but ominous figures, come from the earth to reproach us, almost cheerfully for our ignorance, a mystery, just as the probe of our feelings came up with nothing. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.